reducing fractions to lowest terms. Here is another sheet for you to practice and the method which we are going to use now is repeated division by common factor. Got it? So we have two questions here. I'll do one of them for you. So let me do the easier one which is 48 over 80 and this 60 over 84 with bigger numbers is for you to simplify so that you can write it in lowest terms and enjoy the process of repeated division. Okay? Now let me start with 48 over 80. When I say repeated division means I'm just looking for a number which can divide into both numerator and denominator. Now as I see both are even numbers, so I'll start with dividing by 2. So let me first divide by 2, both the numbers, right? So that's the first step, divide by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we get 24. Now here, 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we get 4 and 0, 40. Now still both are even, so I go further, divide them by 2, right? Well, I could have divided by 4 also at this stage, but let me do it in small steps. Correct. So when I do it, division by 2, I get 20 here and 12 there. Now further, both are 12 and 20. We know we can now divide by 4, okay? It's all up to you. So you can divide by 4 also, right? So if I divide 12 by 4 and 20 by 4, what do I get? 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 20 divided by 4 is 5. I get 3 over 5. Good. So that is my answer. I cannot further divide them into by any number, right? The only common factor between 3 and 5 is 1, right? Both are prime numbers. So we should not even think about dividing them further, right? So we come to a conclusion that 48 over 80 is 3 out of 5. It means really what? It means that if we have 5 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, well, they should be equal in size, then 48 over 80 means 3 out of 5. So this is what it means. This is 48 over 80 also. So this is also 48 over 80. So that is the fraction part representation, right? 3 out of 5. So once you simplify, you have a better understanding of that fraction, right? And that huge numbers become so smaller and so we can appreciate them better. It is a very important thing to understand how to reduce fractions to lowest terms as it helps to simplify the problems, correct? And to understand them better. I hope with this you understand this process of repeated division and writing a fraction in lowest terms. I like you to simplify 60 over 84 by repeated division process and see if you can get the result. Thank you and all the best.